With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. To answer the following questions, you have a set of questions to answer here. The first question is when a low flying aircraft passes overhead, we sometimes notice a slight shaking of the picture in the TV screen. So just a possible explanation. So see here, when you have such a type of uh, shaking of picture in the TV screen, uh, which you will be usually noticing. So what happens is, uh, when an aircraft is uh, just coming very close to the uh, shaking TV screen that is if it just comes close to the overhead then what happens is in an aircraft usually you will be having an electromagnetic signals so that which electromagnetic signals we use in the aircraft we use usually the radar signals so when you have these radar signals in an aircraft these radar signals sent by this aircraft interfere with the TV signal okay this interferes with the TV signal interferes with TV signal so that because of the interference of those two the TV signals get distort, distorted like you will be having a, a variation in the wavelength and frequency and when it interferes you get a different uh, superposition amplitude so when there is a difference in all this amplitude and intensity you get the slight distortion so this deals with the distortion of TV screen. So this is the first explanation, answer for the first question of the explanation. The next thing is, as you have learnt in the text, the principle of superposition, linear superposition of wave displacement is basic to understand the intensity distribution in diffraction and interference. What is the justification of this principle? So when you say it is a linear distribution, linear superposition, basically let us understand what is a superposition principle. So when you say it is a superposition, it is nothing but the merging of or the addition of two displacements of two waves. So when you have uh, two different displacements superposed, this principle of linear superposition is essential to understand the intensity distribution because from this we will get the amplitude from the superposition addition we get the resultant amplitude and when once you get the amplitude you can di directly find it out with respect to the intensity because amplitude and intensity are directly related to the square then when you get an intensity distribution with this the superposition theorem follows from a linear character of a differential equation and hence it governs the wave motion. So whatever the wave motion you have in a linear way, the same way we get it after the superposition also. So since it deals with a linear combination of an equation, you usually deal with the solution of the wave equation in this way. That is how you deal with all these. And this in this whole principle, whatever is taking place is because of the interference of the signal. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.